Hello and welcome everyone. This is Type V3 with a review of the 1 to 144 scale high grade Kampfer Amazing, the first custom gun plug developed by PPSC for Meijing Kawaguchi in Gundam Build Fighters. With its dark shades and bulky body, the Kampfer Amazing packs a solidly imposing appearance. The proportions and sculpted details are right on the mark, and the same can be said of the dye of the plastic. Color separation is minimal at best, though the core design doesn't really call for it. Stickering remains mostly on the yellowish sections of the weapons. White stickers are available for the camper's head and shoulders too, but I felt they looked cheap and opted for silver paint instead. Now despite its good looks, there is one area that needs a touch of paint, that being the insides of all the boosters. They're supposed to be yellow, and due to this absence of color, they come off as plain and bland. Still, the overall kit remains fairly anime accurate. As it might be evident from its simple design, the Camp for Amazing doesn't exactly offer the most complex of builds. In fact, it's generally just huge armor plates snapped onto small, structural pieces of plastic. Sure, there's larger bits here and there, as well as polycaps in every major joint, but I wouldn't describe it as a full inner frame. Moreover, the panel lining opportunities are very sparse too, and even these will get lost in the dark navy color. In short, it's a kit with very minimal effort needed. One of the first things that you'll notice with the Camp for Amazing in hand is that it is surprisingly light. Now, of course, this is a model kit, but uh, going back to the build, this is essentially just a lot of empty space in there. I mean, these are, again, huge armor plates with nothing in there, so he's deceptively light. Uh, he's not flimsy, but I'm not going to go and say that he's a solid rock like other high grades out there. As for posability, you're looking at a simple ball joint at the neck, which actually can go side to side pretty well. A uh, good back and forward, not the best I've seen. Shoulders, uh, the shoulder pads themselves are on their own separate ball joint that can twist and stuff. There's a universal jointed shoulder with a bicep swivel. Single jointed elbow with a fairly great amount of range for that single hinge. Ball jointed wrist. You've got a huge ball jointed torso. Now I will say the torso, I had to thicken up the ball joint just because with the weight of these amazing weapon binders in the backpack, I found him, he started to tilt back every now and then on his own, so I just had to tighten that up. You have a ball jointed hip. There is no thigh swivel, but you can get some slight rocking side to side motion there. A single jointed knee, and you'll notice here, that knee is not a very good bend. Uh, one, it collides with this booster right here. But even without the booster, it doesn't get that much further. The ankles are on a hinged ball joint, so they can go back and forth with some good amount of tilting. There's some good toe articulation. And of course, all the boosters on the camphor are posable ever so slightly in their own right. As for the amazing weapon binders, they're actually on slight little uh, pegged hinges, so they can go up, down, forward, all around. And if you want, you can even take them off. And then if you just take this piece here and switch it over on the top, you can now put them all on these extra holes you see all over the camphor. So, I know in the anime he did appear with four boosters at one point, so if you buy the extra amazing uh, weapon binder on, on its own, you can do that. So that's really cool. Uh, and finally, the way these knives store, they're just on little pegs so they can go back and forth. Overall, it's pretty good for articulation. I mean, it's not the best articulated Gundam I've seen, but considering the size of this robot and considering his design, he actually does move a lot more than I would have expected. And finally, there is a, a small little panel here that you can undo. And that just reveals the little peg hole for a display stand. So there you go. The Camp for Amazing comes with gripping hands, trigger fingers, and a single left open palm. All pretty standard stuff. As for weapons, the first is a pair of amazing knives that store neatly on the model's waist. They look cool and I love the contrast of this huge and weighty robot wielding such close quarters weaponry. However, these will not stay securely in the hands, and is guaranteed to fall out with the slightest movement. Next are the amazing pistols. The trigger finger hands can grip them well enough, but I would have preferred a peg in the handle for a tighter connection. Sure, these look awesome, yet their biggest secret is the fact that they form the basis for the camphor's modular weapon system. So if the small firearm doesn't suit you, try adding on a larger body to form the amazing machine gun. Or maybe that isn't for you, and you'd rather equip the barrel to make the amazing rifle. Finally, there's an even longer barrel with a handle which gives you the amazing long range rifle. It's this modular weapon system that really makes the camphor stand out. Although, that does beg the question, where do all these extra parts go? And that's the best part. All these extra pieces can store neatly in the amazing weapon binders. No hassle, no fuss. However, the fun doesn't stop there. One final adapter is included. This pegs securely in the hands and allows the camphor to wield the amazing weapon binders as a pair of cannons. Yes, there are definite weight issues, still it's one spectacular sight. With a name like the Camp for Amazing, you can bet this high-grade model kit had a lot to prove. Whether or not it achieved that status is questionable. 
I wouldn't say the kit as a whole is amazing, then again, it isn't very far off either. Between the build and appearance, there's a very solid foundation here, and there isn't much effort needed to bring out the camphor's full potential. Sure, it isn't the most articulated robot, yet it manages to pull off more agile poses than you would expect it to. Then there's the modular weapon system, which is easily the highlight to this entire set. No doubt there are areas of weakness here that I can single out. Nevertheless, it all comes together so nicely. The high-grade cam for Amazing, then, is a fun and unique model kit that's greater than the sum of its parts. It's not the best the Build Fighter series has to offer. That said, it's still my personal favorite of the line. Anyways, this has been Type V3, and thanks for watching. You've probably already guessed this, but yes, Meiji Kawaguchi was the character I adored most in Build Fighters. I don't know, it's something about that outfit and his commitment to the role that just makes me love him so much.